Hello everyone, today in this video we will learn how to rationalize denominator of a fraction. So you can see here there are three fraction we have. In number 1 it is 1 by root over 7, number 2 1 by root over 2 and number 3 3 by 2 root over 5. So if we look here since we need to rationalize the denominator. So if we look at the denominator that is root over 7 and here the denominator is root over 12 and here the denominator is 2 root over 5. Now if we write the fraction 1 by root over 7 we mostly focus on the denominator and we have to check whether the denominator is prime number or composite number. If the denominator is prime number then we need to start directly rationalization. So since the denominator is 7 7 is not divisible by any other number except 1 and 7. So, 7 is prime number. So, we need to start rationalizing. So, how to do rationalization? Like if the denominator is root over 7 and since in the denominator here if we see there is only one term that is root over 7. Then we need to multiply same root over 7 in both the numerator and denominator. That means if there is only one term in the denominator, then we need to multiply the same number in both the numerator and denominator. So if we multiply, what we get here, root over 7 into 1 is root over 7 and root over 7 into 7, root over 7. So since this is same number, so we can write root over 7 is square. So is square and root over will be cancelled. What we will get here, root over 7 by 7. So now you can see there is no root over in the denominator. That means it is rationalized. So this is the answer of this question. Now if we look at the next question that is 1 by root over 12. So in next question what you can see the numerator is 1 and the denominator is 12. If we look at 12 like in the previous question it was 7. 7 was prime number. But here you can see 12 is not a prime number because 12 can be divisible by 2 by 3 by 4 so this 12 is not a prime number so if this 12 is not a prime number first we will have to factorize this 12 so how will factorize it is 12 so if we divide by 12 with 2 we will get 6 times here then again if we divide by 2 we will get 3 times here so from 12 we have got 2 into 2 into 3 that means in the place of 12 we need to write 2 into 2 into 3 now since it is square root what we will have to do 2 number of 2 is there so we can write 2 square into 3 now again in the next line what we can do that is like root over is there in both 2 square and 3. So we will separate the root over. So here in the first one since 2 square also has root over. So we will write root over 2 square into then root over 3. Then since here is square and root over is there. So we can cancel this square with root over. Then what we will get that is 1 by 2 into root over 3 that is 2 root over 3. Now what we will have to do since still root over is there in the denominator so what we will do this number we need to rationalize now so 1 by 2 root over 3 since still there is only one term so we need to multiply the same term in both the numerator and denominator as we have done in the previous question now we have to multiply the number with number and the root over number with root over number. So what we will have to do 2 root over 3 into 2 root over 3 and here 1 into 2 root over 3 is 2 root over 3. If we multiply we need to multiply the number without root over with the number without root over. So 2 into 2 into 2 into root over 3 into root over 3 and here since 2 root over 3 is there we need to write the same number. Then 2 to sir 4 root over 3 into root over 3 is root over 3 square 
and here 2 root over 3. If we cancel this square with root over, then what we will get here? That is 2 root over 3 by 4 into 3. Now we can cancel 2 with 4. Here we are getting 2 times. So it is root over 3 by 3 into 2 is 6. So in this case, this is the answer. Now we will see question number 3 that is 3 by 2 root over 5. So here since both 2 and 5 is prime number so what we will have to do we need to rationalize directly 2 root over 5. So if we rationalize the same denominator will be multiplied in both the numerator and denominator since there is only one term. So, if we multiply what we will get 3, this 3 does not have root over and 2 does not have root over. So, 3 into 2 is 6. Then root over 5 and no root over 5 here. So, root over 5 here. Then the number without root over and here also the number without root over is 2. So, 2 into 2 is 4 into. Now, in the last question we have seen if we multiply the root over number like root over 5 into root over 5 we directly can write it is 5. So, in the same way root over 5 into root over 5 we can directly write 5. Now, since here 4 is also divisible by 2, 6 also divisible by 2. So, we can divide this 4 with 2 so that we can get 2 times here and if we divide 6 with 2 we will get 3 times. So, in the numerator we get 3 root over 5 then in the denominator 2 into 5. So, if we multiply 3 into root over 5 is 3 root over 5 and 2 into 5 is 10. So, this is the answer for this question. Now, we will solve this question and in this question you can see that in the denominator there is two term. So, if there is two term then the process will be little different. So, first we will have to see whether there is any composite number means the number which is not prime that means the number which is not which is divisible by any other number other than 1 and the number itself. So, this number 5 is also not divisible, 2 is also not divisible. So, this both the numbers are prime number. Then what we will have to do? We have to start direct rationalization. So, if there is two number, two terms in the denominator, then what we should do? We have to multiply again in both the numerator and denominator. But there will be little changes than the previous question that is we have to see that in between the two term if there is minus sign we will just have to change the sign. So, here since it is root over 5 minus 2 so the sign only will change and the values will be same. So, here it is root over 5 minus 2 so here will be root over 5 plus 2. So, in the same way the same number will be multiplied in the denominator also root over 5 plus 2. Now, if we multiply the numerator, so whatever we multiply with 1, we used to get the same number that is root over 5 plus 2 and in the denominator it is root over 5 minus 2 into root over 5 plus 2. Now if we can see in the denominator it is root over 5 minus 2 and root over 5 plus 2 is multiplied. Now, if we compare with any of the algebraic identities, we have an identities that is like a minus b a plus b. If this kind of identities are there, we used to write it a square minus b square. So, since if we compare these identities with these numbers, here you can see in the place of a root over 5 is there, in the place of b 2 is there. So, in the next number also in the place of a root over 5 in the place of b root over a 2. So, here minus sign plus sign here, here also minus sign plus sign. So, easily we can convert it into a square minus b square. So, a square means here in the place of a what is there root over 5. So, a square means root over 5 square. Then minus minus then b square means 2 here. 2 square and the numerator will be 
same. Now, since root over 5 has square, so square can be cancelled with root over. So, it will remain 5 here. Minus 2 square is 2 if we multiply 2 times it is 4. Then root over 5 plus 2. Now, if we subtract 5 minus 1 is 5 minus 4 is 1. Then root over 5 plus 2. So, if there is 1 in the denominator, we do not need to write the 1. So, we can directly write only the numerator. So, this is the way we solve the fraction if there is any root over number in the denominator. So, we have to rationalize in this way so that there is no root over in the denominator. Now, in the next question, we will see like suppose we have a question that is 16 by root over 41 minus 5. So, here also we can see in the denominator there is two term and in the numerator before in the previous question it was 1 but here we can see 16. So, what we will do in this case again in the same way we will have to check whether these are composite number or not. So, both the number is prime number both the number is not divisible then we need to directly start rationalization. So, numerator will be same again then root over 41 minus 5 into the same denominator will be multiplied in both the numerator and denominator. But since there is minus sign, there will be plus sign. So, root over 41 plus 5 again root over 41 plus 5. Then what we will have to do? We need to multiply. Since in the previous question we have multiplied 1 with this, so we got the same number here. But here 16 is multiplied with root over 41 plus 5. So, we need to multiply. So, 16 into root over 41 plus 5. Then here in the same way, again it looks like a minus b, a plus b. So, root over 41 minus 5, then root over 41 plus 5. So, if we convert it into a minus b, a plus b, then it comes to a plus b whole square. That means a means root over 41 here. So, root over 41 square minus b means 5. So, 5 square. And here in this case, this 16 is multiplied with both 41 and 5. So, 16 into root over 41. Then, there is plus sign in the middle term. So, plus here. Then, 16 into again. 5. Now, if we cancel this square with root over, we get 41 here minus 5 square it is 25. Then 16 into root over 41 is since it is a number and here as the number there is 1. So, 16 into 1 is 16 then root over 41 there is no root over number. So, root over 41 then plus 16 into 5 is 80. Then 41 minus 25, so 11 minus 5 is 6, then 3 minus 2 is 1, so 16 here. Then here if we see, there is 16 root over 41 and 80 here. So if we factorize this 80, we will get 16 into 5. So 16 into 5 is what? It is 80. So this 80 can be written into 16 into 5. So, 16 root over 41 plus 16 into 5. Now, in the next line, what you can see, there is two term. So, since plus sign is there, so this is one term and that is another term. So, in both the term, we can see 16 is there. So, we can take 16 common from here. Then, what will remain root over 41 plus 5 then 16 here. So, if we cancel this 16 with 16, then what will remain? That is root over 41 plus 5. So, this is the answer of this question. There is no root over in the denominator. Here, we can see that there is no denominator at all. So, this is the answer. So, if we need to solve this kind of question where there is root over in the denominator, then we need to start rationalization. So, this is the way we can rationalize and we can 
find this question so if you understood this question please like this video and subscribe the channel so that i can bring some new videos and you can learn more questions thank you so much for watching